Ellie Beach. Took a chance on a good thing. Yeah. Now I got you on my right wing. Make it love like it's casual. And you text me in the morning, you're available. Am I, am I dreaming? Can't believe I forgot this feeling. Finally found the one in my life that I wanna be with. No more seeking. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'll always choose you first. Yeah, my baby. It's true. It's true. You're so damn worth There's no one like you Yeah, too rare to find Cause you are You're one of a kind No words to describe You <laughs> scared me It is safe to say that that was the most beautiful thing I ever seen in my entire life. I feel like you won't understand how beautiful it is. Like I couldn't capture it, just how beautiful it was on camera. You'll have to go see it for yourself in real life if you can because it was just so incredible and it has now made me so much more excited for Whitsundays because we're actually snorkeling in the Great Barrier Reef and then obviously we have the proper scuba diving and snorkeling when we get to Cairns. I'm literally just like so ecstatic to do that now. Today we are just going to chill by the lagoon. Jazz and Sophie have got their scenic flight tomorrow so we won't give too many spoilers. But of course a massive shout out to Ocean Rafting because without them I mean we wouldn't have been able to see the beautiful views so please 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 I encourage you to go and book and do the scenic fly over the Whitsundays because I didn't actually research anything none of us did actually we didn't want to kind of spoil what it was and we didn't really know about the heart shape reef or anything like that so it was really really interesting to see that when obviously we went over it we saw some manta rays as well which I've never seen ever in my life and they were so much clearer than I thought like they literally you could see it was so clear. I was expecting to see like blobs or like little, you know, like fuzzy stuff in the water, but you could see them so clearly. You can also, on the same scenic flight, sometimes see sharks, you can see stingers, you can also see some turtles apparently. But we saw the manta rays, which was absolutely insane. We also had some snorkeling hotspots pointed out to us as well. So if you are in Ellie for a few days and you wanted to like book extra, I say do the scenic flight first and then you can get to know where you're gonna be and then book the rest. I feel like that's probably a good thing to do. But yeah, I'm gonna spend the day at the lagoon and because the water here you can't really go in it's more like offshore harbour land that you wouldn't really want to swim in and obviously the further up the coast we go the less likely you are to swim in the sea because of saltwater crocodiles so luckily we haven't seen any of those yet i don't really want to either but yeah i'll let you enjoy the rest of the but we hit the road doesn't matter where we go and destination or no i don't care where the motor stops because when i want it then i want it yeah i want it oh i want it let's go look around where's the so just before we get to the lagoon i do just want to tell you so we faked a whatsapp conversation with will pretending that he wanted lemons uh, really random from me and byron there but he's just the most gullible person ever i was telling him to say some stuff like english slang the other day and he just carried on saying it he's honestly so gullible so i'm gonna sneakily film it and see what his reaction is the whatsapp text is actually quite believable i won't lie you text me asking for lemons what are they for? Yes, you did. I even on Facebook. You did? Yes, you did. Look. Yes, you did. You said they're for. So, what are you I actually gave you one of mine. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I am so confused. You texted it. Weird request, Will, but I just saw it, you know. One is true. We had though. them with our food, so. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, black and white. We are actually now at the Early Beach Lagoon. The beach here isn't really like a beach. It's more of like a beach offshore, a harbour. So you wouldn't go swimming in it or anything like that. I mean, I guess you can, but it doesn't really look very appealing to us. So we have come to the lagoon, which is just a safer place for you to swim. The boys are here somewhere. They weren't on our coach. They actually came the following day, the big group of people that we met at Fraser Island. Luckily, we're actually doing a lot of the tours with them in the future. We're gonna be in the same place. We're just staying at different hostels. So they're at Nomads, we're at YHA this time. Welcome to a brand new day. Stefan, welcome to a brand new Welcome to a brand new <laughs> Today we're on the beach. Each, let's go your way. How high is the jump? Two. Three. 
one. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I'm definitely higher. One, two, one. No, I was higher. No, I was. Watch that back. Oh, get on. And then, oh no, five and you should have been on the bottom. On the bottom. Are you on? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my god, guys, I'm serious. Ah, my feet were like this. Why are we your feet under the I don't understand right now. You get on that house. Oh. 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 Right now, Anna. Yeah, I'm on. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. No hands. Guys, I'm not. Oh, oh, shit. Look at Liam all the way out. <laughs> it's fun to stay at the YMCA. <laughs> are whipping up a storm in the kitchen. What's on the menu? So we've got chicken, pesto, parmesan, garlic, pasta. Ooh. Ooh. Honestly, guys, this kitchen's so nice. There's like so much in here to use. It's like a proper kitchen. You've got lockers, really big fridges. So you guys want to come over here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's big Serves four, but for five us, it'll be enough. And we've got chicken in it, so there's going to be lots of stuff in it. So we're just going to put it to seven and get it really boiling. Use it or lose it, guys. Have you ever overdone the ingredient? It's gone like too starchy and so it's going to... I've underdone it. Oh no, I've overdone done it before. Done it's like not that. fair. Some restaurants do al dente. Al dente, that's how Gemma likes hers. I don't really like no, it. No, I like mine to be just perfect. Just Perfect, just, just perfect. Jazzle's on top and duty. Also, guys, this is um, free. Can you believe? So, we're gonna put this on our chicken. This is the pesto. Very fancy. Chefing it up. I just can't believe that. Look at that. Boiling water tank as well. I want to smell that. Good morning, Groovy Girls. Today is a brand new day. I know you said in Byron Bay, <laughs> in Early Beach. Me and Anna are just going to get some breakfast with Byron. He's just gone to get some flip flops. And Jazz and Sophie are doing their scenic flight today, which is super exciting because obviously it was just so, so beautiful yesterday. We're going back to a spot that we went to on our first day when we were like really, really tired from the 14 hour coach because the food there was actually insane and reasonably priced. I'll definitely show you that. Apart from that, we're just going to go to the lagoon again like yesterday. So, not really too much to update you on, but obviously the main part of this vlog will be the jet skiing if we can do it apparently it's supposed to be thunderstorming so maybe we won't be able to do that um but also wit sundays so if you think that this is like a really choppy vlog I promise you just wait for the wit sundays i'm so in love today like i just feel like a sack of shit we've all had a cold for the past few days so i've actually got a peppermint tea with honey of course and then I got some mushrooms, kale, scrambled eggs, and toast. So hopefully that sorts me out. We've also bought like Nurofen and like a little thick stick and stuff. It's so weird having a cold here because I just relate having a cold to really horrible weather conditions. And obviously it's just so beautiful here. So it's really strange. But um, not feeling the best. So hopefully we can get over that today. It's like a beetle that's adapted to it. I may look a bit washed out, but obviously that was from the previous clips of us going in the water. I'm actually so proud of me and Anna because we have not been underwater since we were literal kids. Because we both have a fear of like just deep water, the sea, just being in water in general. <laughs> like we literally are always in the shallow end. So I'm super proud of us. Byron is the best teacher we've ever had because he actually managed to get us underwater with. Oh, do you know what? Not a lot of convincing. That was actually quite quick. Just super proud of us. I, I'm so much more excited to like do Whit Sundays now and do the snorkeling, knowing that I can actually like I'm okay in the water if like I have to go in the water or do snorkeling and stuff like that. We are now at the deck, which is not really too far from where we're staying. It's right by the lagoon um the food here looks unreal this is anna's and byron's this is the best burger I've ever had. best burger a truffle burger oh my god i was gonna have it but i had um obviously you saw this morning i had the mushrooms and the kale with 
truffle sauce. Well, that'd be a little bit too much truffle. So um, I actually got crispy chicken tacos with avocado and just some other stuff on it. So I'm so excited to eat. I'm actually so I forgot to mention, I also got myself a virgin peanut colada because I feel like we haven't really had nothing like that on this trip. I don't know why, but every single place we go to, my food always comes out when they've finished the food. Look at that onion. It's so red. It smells amazing. Good morning, Groovy Girls. I'm not sure if you can actually see me. I definitely cannot see you because it's so bright. Today is jet skiing day. Safe to say I am absolutely shitting myself. But my life is in the hands of Anastasia today, who absolutely loves jet skiing. So do you know what? I think she's got me. It's all good. I'm gonna actually try and have a go at it today. I had a really bad experience with the jet ski once, so I think I'm just a bit nervous about that. But I'm with better people, so I feel like I'll feel a lot more comfortable. We are literally just walking there now. The next time you see me, I'll be in the water pipes. every 45 minutes to an hour so there is like a massive chance we won't see one but maybe we'll get lucky i thought that was one there and it was a rock <laughs> really hard to like see if it is a turtle yeah rock. yeah maybe we should be a bit further out <laughs> okay go a bit further out maybe <laughs> we just went over a big lump of sand and we both were just like oh maybe we should be a bit further out <laughs> I don't know if I look like a bit of a dickhead with these glasses on. <laughs> but guys, I'm gonna have to keep them on because they are actually protecting my eyes because it is very, very, very bright today. It's probably, what's the temperature today? Well, I think it's 27, but it feels like Nah, there's just absolutely no way. It's so much warmer than that. And we put on so much sun cream as well, but I, I'm definitely gonna burn like a million, trillion percent. However, this is the beach that me and Anna saw when we were on our jet skis. Basically, let me just explain the jet ski situation because I am actually good, but I do wanna do it again. So when we went out on the jet skis, as soon as we started, it came up saying like high engine temperature wasn't yeah. it high engine temperature and we said to the guy like oh is that good and he was like oh you'll be fine for the rest of the journey like it's it's not a major problem i think like it must have happened on a trip before ours and we were getting like the brunt end of it because when we were trying to go probably like 40 the engine would just cut out obviously we were trying to follow them we were trying to like zigzag and everything like everyone else was doing like we can literally see people jet skiing now can you see them all in the distance oh, that is so cool but we couldn't oh, keep so up because obviously the engine just kept cutting out on us which was really 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 sad we only got an hour which was still incredible because it kind of got me over the fear of it i had like a really bad experience with a jet ski that just scared me what have i not had a bad experience of let's be honest take a shot for every time has said that it was a lot more safer than i actually thought it was so we really do want to do it again maybe for like three hours and i feel like whitsundays is the best place to do it i have looked sadly there isn't anywhere that has availability that would fit our timetable because obviously we are doing the whitsundays tour tomorrow but i feel like maybe we won't need to after the stuff that we're going to see on the whitsundays so i am I'm actually going to end this vlog here of course thank you so so much to my adventure project for just such another incredible trip i didn't think that there was that much to do in early but it's kind of been a nice break from being like full on obviously like we have done walking pretty much everywhere like i've never been so energetic in my life and you don't realize it but it really does take a toll on you i am in so much pain because the aircon in our room is so strong my joints are actually aching when we go to sleep because it's only on my bed so i'm just waking up every morning actually exhausted it sounds so stupid i sound like such a wetty but I actually feel exhausted every single time I wake up because I'm not sleeping properly and everything. So it is actually nice to just chill and just, you know, actually relax. Me and Anna are going to swim in the sea. Obviously not this part. We're going to go in the protected part that doesn't have any stingers. But this is just so cute. Like, look at this little beach. It's adorable. So yeah, I love you all so, so much. And I will see you in the next video, Groovy Girls. Took a chance on a good thing. Yeah. Now I got you on my right wing. Making love like it's casual And you text me in the morning, you're available Am I, am I 
dreaming Can't believe I forgot this feeling Finally found the one in my life that I wanna be with No more seeking I'm sure, I'm sure I'll always choose you first You're my best